Following the Battle of the Philippine Sea, Japanese high command faced a stark and terrifying reality that their once dominant fighter, the A6M0, became obsolete. Its lightweight design and reliance on pilot skill were no match for the F6F Hellcat's overwhelming combination of speed, firepower, and survivability. The only path forward was to find new solutions that could match the Hellcat's power output. Their primary technical response was the prioritization of Nakajima Homari engine. Its mass production became a critical industrial priority and a race against time to equip the next generation of fighters. This 18-cylinder radial engine was a technical marvel on paper, capable of producing over 2,000 horsepower. Its exceptionally compact design, with an external diameter of just 118 centimeters, was a feat of engineering. However, its tight design and the lack of precision tools in wartime Japan made Homari engine highly unreliable. The actual power output often fell far short of the design specification, in some cases delivering only 1,300 horsepower at higher altitude. The engines were prone to mechanical failures and were notoriously difficult to tune and maintain in the field. Sometimes it required a full overhaul after as little as 50 hours of flight time. This failure of mechanical engineering became a critical weakness in the face of the Hellcat's overwhelming numbers and reliability. When it comes to aircraft designs, the Japanese Air Command had just learned a true lesson. Their fragile, lightweight fighters were no longer suited for modern aerial combat. The newly arriving Hellcat proved to be an exceptionally rugged machine, capable of absorbing a significant amount of punishment while delivering a devastating blow. The once dominant Zero was easily torn apart by the Hellcat's formidable performance and firepower. The Japanese needed a fighter that could survive and hit back. The Kawanishi N1K1J Shiden was a direct and desperate result of this realization. Originally designed as a float plane, its land-based version became a rugged, heavily armed fighter. Unlike the fragile Zero, the Shiden had a heavier and more durable airframe, weighing approximately 3,500 pounds more than the Zero. It was also armed with a devastating suite of firepower, including four 20mm cannons and two 7.7mm machine guns. The Shiden's powerful armament and rugged design were a clear shift away from the fragile design philosophy and were intended to allow the aircraft to engage American fighters head-on and absorb more punishment. Japan also desperately needed a fighter that could not only match but potentially outperform the Hellcat's speed and firepower to regain air superiority. The Kawasaki Ki-84 Hayate was conceived as Japan's ultimate answer to this dire situation. The Frank was designed from the outset to be a high-performance fighter capable of matching the F6F in speed and firepower. Its combat debut was in the months directly following the devastating losses of the Turkey shoot. It incorporated features like self-sealing fuel tanks and a 13mm thick steel plate behind the pilot seat for protection, which were previously sacrificed in favor of lighter weight. The Ki-84 was armed with two 12.7mm machine guns and two 20mm cannons. When functioning properly, it was a formidable opponent, with a top speed of 392 miles per hour that put it on par with the Hellcat. However, its effectiveness was severely hampered by the unreliability of the Homari engine and the poor quality of its overall aircraft production. Ultimately, the Japanese response to the Hellcat's dominance was a story of a lost technological race. While engineers managed to design capable aircraft like the Shiden and Hayate, the broader industrial infrastructure was unable to reliably produce them. The Homare engine became a constant source of failure in the field, negating the combat potential of the very fighters it was meant to power. In the end, it was not the Hellcat's superior individual performance, but rather its overwhelming numbers and reliable industrial production that sealed the fate of Japan's air power. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next videos.